Take it all. Let's see what we've got. Let's, uh, support the pawn. Let's try and stop the fried liver. And let's just get the knight out. Stop attacking the pawn. And the castle. Make some space for the white square bishop. Let's attack the white square bishop. Because we like to do that. Oh, and let's take. Let's attack the bishop with a smaller piece. Let's attack the bishop again with the bishop. Interesting times. Let's attack the knight. Let's take the knight off the board, don't need to be fancy. Let's push onto this pawn here with the support from the rook. They can take, but obviously the queen is there, so the rook isn't going to take the pawn. But we've done this for a particular reason. Oh, interesting time. I don't believe they could have taken the pawn because the rook can't take back. So I don't understand why they've not actually captured. So we're going to take the pawn. Might have been a missed opportunity from our opponent. That's where bishop, let's attack their bishop. Doesn't look like they want to give pieces up, do they? So it's going to move back then, obviously. Maybe keeping the tension too much, which is kind of, oh, hey, there we go. Disabling them for a moment. The knight's up. Uh, de -de -de -de. Double in. It's the only open file, half open file. <coughs> he does have, <coughs> excuse me, he does have tricks, doesn't he? Attacking this pawn. He does have tricks. Let's move this here then because the tricks are coming in. Oh, it moved there quick. There was no thinking whatsoever. Is he just protecting this pawn then, do you think? I think it's just protecting the pawn. Let's just double up. Because it can't realistically stay there forever, can it? Not that we're going to do any damage here. He's got these little tiny pawns protecting quite nicely and his queen's waiting to come down here and just peel off the pot oh he started flicking he started flicking his little sign is like going it's going crazy now we know what that means interesting times right well we do like to beat flickers and see how we crack on then but it might look like we've got something but really it's a bit tight they've got this play like we said here if we push then he takes the knight so that'll be a danger zone for us but we'll class that as a greedy munching queen coming down for the pawn here so can we improve our position so that so if we come here then we've got a momentary check on his king because we know the queen's coming down for the pawn knight can move quite freely well can it move freely if it goes there it's blocking the defense of the other pawn i'm going to move the queen we know the queen's coming here we get a check on tiny momentary thing maybe the rook comes and defends Still flicking. Little flicker. They started flicking when that knight was there, didn't they? Like, oh, I don't really know what to do, so let's turn on the flick. Comes here. Not really sure. We said we put a little bit of a check on here. They can move or they can just block. 
they've not done that so does that give us a moment to actually get out of there there's no point going up here because it, it's all jammed in so i think it's a moment to get out of here and maybe try and jump up here jump up here something like that now they might realize oh i better go down for this pawn But we have that time to oh so close so he's gone for an x-ray through onto our king so i'm going to touch on the king just to win a momentary situation we could go and attack the queen or just carry on with the knight move because the queen is on this pawn so i'm going to bring the knight across just protecting the pawn then we'll move the king if there's nothing meatier to go for Obviously, the rooks are going to be attacking the queen. Not just yet. All right. So. Are we going this way with the knight? Or are we going this way with the knight? This way blocks the queen's passageway. So, maybe going this way. But this then gives it more play to go here. But I don't think we're going to get that. Let's just drop the knight in here and see what happens. We can, all, we can always come all the way down or go for a trade if we're getting pressured by the rooks. See, ideally, I'd want to be cheeky and go here to go here. So we'll try it anyway, because the knight might forget themselves and focus so much on whatever it is they're planning down here. Which would be quite tasty for us. It looks simple and straightforward. If we see it, anybody can see it. And they've gone. All right, so that means we can come in here and get a rook off the board or exchange the queen. Well, not exchange the queen, get the queen if the queen comes and takes. But the problem with that is this rook can come, I'm just gonna say, <laughs> this rook can come there. Yeah. Uh, we can move the queen i'm not too panicked where do i want to go here because obviously the queen is still attacking so if we went here it's just gonna mind you the rook would be able to take wouldn't it uh, why do i like this i like this it's going to move the rook to attack the knight yeah okay right let's do my arrows if i went like this it's then going to move the rook to attack the knight so we've got a two on one here but there's probably no point doing that because his rook's just going to attack the queen and we lose the knight so we could get checkmate <laughs> there's me overthinking <laughs> checkmate so that's a smothered mate. Ah, brilliant. Excellent. 